fucking Christ. Intro, intro, intro. Hi, we're back. We're playing Goki Gamer. Um, he seems like a really super nice guy, so I'm excited to play him. Uh, week one went like absolute horseshit garbage. Um, I missed a Stone Edge and I lost um, on top of other hacks. But apparently this guy also lost because of a Stone Edge hit and miss, so that's fucking funny. Um, I want to get on my team builder to put in what he's bringing before I press A. I think I'm good. Uh, I got the damage calc. Um, okay. I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. I'm su I was super nervous last time. I was super nervous before this, but I think I'm calming down. Whew. I'm going to say good luck to have fun to him. Good luck, have fun. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna press A, see what he's bringing. Uh, he might bring some weird shit. He does bring some weird shit. We see an Ore Beetle, we see a Landorus, we don't see a T-Tart. That's massive. That means no Sand Force. Um, and that's gonna mean that Lycanroc is revenged by certain things. His team looks so Diggers be weak once I take down... Or beetle slash landers. I have to be a lot more preservative with Rotom to defog potential webs. Um, I'm terrified of webs right now. So no T Tar came. So Finny, Celebi, Or Beetle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Landris, Finny, Legendrock, Or Beetle, Celebi. And Melmetal. Uh, his only rocker, well, he has a lot of rockers, uh, but his deep waters, all right, I'm not going to think about it. Um, best lead is Diggersby, right? Because Lycanroc lead could be scary. I want to U-turn on a potential uh, Orbital lead into Rotom. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. Now, if only that's how I ordered my team last time, starting with the one that I wanted to uh, lead with. If you didn't see last time, I freaking didn't get it in time. All right, we're playing Goki. Um, I'm fucking terrified, but I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, he's gonna lead with Ore Beetle, I imagine. Yep, so this actually is a sigh of relief for me because I was horrified that this was gonna be like a, um, oh, he frisked my scarf. So he sees my scarf immediately. That's okay though. Um, it almost means I'm not, It's. it also means I, it almost means I can pr predict less. Um, I imagine he's going for webs like immediately. I'm gonna U-turn here and see just how much damage this does. Ooh, that's so much damage. Um, he literally might just be like some speed, but like not very much. I'm just going into Roto. Without T-Tar? Oh, he doesn't have Dracozolt either. That's massive. Okay. Um, I don't know what this thing can do. Um, I think I'm gonna just defog to be honest. Yeah, I'm not gonna rethink it. Webs need to be gone. I cannot afford. He just stays in and psychics. Not great, because I imagine he's just gonna webs again. Um, likely means I need to overheat here. Does Volt Switch kill? 31 to 38. I don't really like that. It's also not the set I am, so I'm gonna just click overheat. Maybe I should have clicked overheat right away, um, but, you know, is what it is. Oh, he withdraws. That's great for me. Um, that means no webs right now. Pistachio is... So we Sticky Web Psychic. Okay, I'm glad I didn't Volt Switch. I want to see this overheat damage. How much does this do? Whew, that's good. Um, anything like leftovers? No. Okay. So, uh, War Beetle's at like 30 right now. It has... Psychic and Sticky Web. My dedicated answer to this right now is Mew. And it'll tell me what the set he is. So 207. We'll see what he goes for. He goes for knockoff. So he is physical. That's terrifying. Um, 207 to 89. God, I did not think he'd be physical here. Um... Okay, I need to take a step and think here. Let's take a look and see this damage. Noct did 110. 
I think it did 118 if I'm mathing that right in my head. Knock off. Um, I guess I'll just do normal gym. 118. That looks to just be max attack. Um, I think I'm gonna go into wheezing. It's hard to say. Um, yeah, let's go into wheezing, I guess. I don't like that damage. Um, I guess Mew is not my switch in anymore. But to be fair, wheezing isn't as necessary this game. Um, he does U-turn. I'd be curious to see what he goes into. Um... So he's max attack with knock and U-turn. That makes me curious what the rest of his moves are. He's gotta be Earthquake, right? And, um... You know. Freaking... Iron move for Lando? Or for Weezing? I don't know. Maybe Weezing comes in on this. I mean, he's either a steel move for Weezing or a, like, Iron Tail or he's Rock Slide for Rotom. I would bet on the latter. I have no clue what he goes into here, though. And with Mute Shift, I, I'm not very happy. I really thought this was going to bring special for me. Nuts and bolts. Um... Okay, we're gonna scout for damage on this. I shouldn't die to a rock slide. Knock on wood. I think I calc to this because I'm max defense. But we'll see. I'm at 112. He goes for double iron bash. 112 to 97. So that just did 15. Um. Part of me just wants to overheat again. What's his switching? Lando. Yeah, is it weird to just overheat again? I'm just gonna overheat again. <laughs> if he goes Finny, like, good on him, I suppose. Um, but I feel like that's not a great play. Oh wow, he just stays in. Um, is he AV? Okay, here's the rock slide. 82 to a death. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like losing Rotom that early with Sticky Web still around. Oh no, this is bad. Okay, um, threaten, 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 threaten. Uh, he has no switch in. That's not true. He has a switch in. Um, oh, I don't like this. Okay, don't panic. But definitely going to Terrakion here. And I want to CC, I think. I need to get T-Spikes up so badly. <sighs> Was Pain Split bad? I don't... Because I don't know what I would have gone into otherwise. So it, it's hard to say. Oh, he just let this drop. Nice. Okay. Well, at least this is gone. Um... I want him being gone's not great though. I'm sorry now place my bet and later is not being a steel move. <laughs> I really didn't think that would kill based on the double iron bash damage. I guess I need to play a little bit slower. So there's the Lycan Rock. I imagine we'll see a CC here. Um there's no Drake Azult, so I feel pretty comfortable just going into Vile Plume. Um, if he gets webs up, that's a fucking nightmare. Um, and I don't want that. I almost wonder if I, um, if I go for a sludge bomb, expecting the orbital to come in. Um, if I... Psychic things! Oh, he predicted it, he predicted it, he predicted it. Effect spore? Ugh, that didn't work. Okay. Um... It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. I'm gonna go into Diggersby and U-turn. Okay, so he knows I'm Scarf. 
Um, I'm going to U-turn here. <sighs> God, I did not like losing that health. I do not like losing that health. A psychic things make sense because it was in front of a Tarak. Yeah, okay. Um. I gotta figure out how to get health back. Not great. Um, that was a really good prediction on his part, but I don't even know if it was a prediction. I think it was just an oversight on my part. This game looks like it's going fast, so I feel comfortable taking my time on certain turns. He does switch, so I will get momentum here. Goes in a siren. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to get to see if this is leftovers or like what it is. Um, he's helmet. I had a nightmare about this. Okay, this is bad for triple axle on Mew. Um, I don't like that at all. Um... If there's any time to get a T-spike up, I feel like it's right now. He isn't Scarf on Lando. That's important to keep in mind. I wish I was spit death on this so badly. He calm minds. That's not good either. Okay. To be fair, Terrakion does revenge this. The question is, do I go into it now? The answer is probably no. Um, I actually think I go Vileplume here because I don't think I'm, I'm going to heal on anything at this point. Hi everyone, welcome to some kind of intermission. It's actually a little over two days since I played this game now, um, but I want to interject uh, the game with just a little sort of note here because I do sort of still pride myself on having some kind of educational content surrounded by these videos and what you're about to see is me play extremely wrong, like the worst I've ever played like around anything ever in like the past like year. It was terrible. Essentially, I managed to blunder my way through this entire Tapu Fini, and I want to use this moment to, like, explain what I should do, and then you're going to see what I do do, and, um, it's not very good. So, there's a few, like, aspects of, like, Wi-Fi that, um, you know, I'm still super unfamiliar with that, you know, affected me in this game that it wouldn't meet, affect me in Showdown. So, for example... This thing already revealed to be Rocky Helmet, but when I saw it set up, I, I, I kind of forgot about that. Um, and I spent a lot of time here playing around a Kevya Berry that just has confirmed that it doesn't exist. Now, if I was in Showdown, I'd see that, but, you know, I just, I, I forget. Um, other things that happen is I feel so time pressured that I forget about sword power and I forget about draining kiss. Um, so... <laughs> I make a series of very, very poor plays here, um, and I'm going to talk about what I should do in this instance first, and then you're going to see what I actually do. do. So, what I so here's the screen that I'm deciding on what to go into for this game, as you're going to see. So, essentially, <laughs> I end up deciding to go into Vileplume here. Terrible idea. One, because Vileplume can still be used for Landorus and can strength sap all its health back, because in this moment, I seem to forget that Landorus actually was physical this time. Most of the time I was thinking, oh, it's special, it's psychic, maybe Vileplume isn't as necessary, but I needed to remember that in this game in particular, he brought physical, so I could still use my physically defensive Vileplume. That still has utility, but I forget about that and end up sacking the Vileplume, as you're going to see. What I should do in this instance is I should be going into Mew, Dragon Dancing, Soft Boiling, whatever, and getting this Tapu Fini in range of a Poison Jab from Terrakion. That will ensure that the game goes down to 4-4, and I'll still have Vileplume, Diggersby, uh, Full Health Weezing, and a Terrakion to be able to uh, win the game with. So um, I was able to do that. Um, 
with Mew, because I come in, I take any one hit, I can recover. Even if he starts Calm Minding again, again, I'm physical, I can drag and dance, so all I need is to get like 40% off this Finny that can only recover with Draining Kiss, and I can manipulate sort of how much HP I have left with Mew in order to get that done. Um, for example, go for like the final EQ that puts it in range when I only have like 10% of health left. I'm able to manipulate my way around that. It would be tricky, but it's possible. That's the correct play. Go into Mew, whittle it down so Terrakion can revenge this thing. <laughs> But I fear that it's Kabia, so I'm afraid of going to Rakion and going for Poison Jab, um, forcing me to do and blunder what you're going to see me completely. Uh, you're just going to see me totally mess up here, and I totally own it, and I messed up how, I, how to play around this Finny, and it ends up costing me the game with a huge sum of differentials. So what you're going to see is me completely blunder my way around it. I could have just sacked Mew to this in order to get damage off and then revenge with Terrakion. I don't end up doing that because I am uh, very anxious and nervous in the moment and terrified um, and not thinking straight and not thinking about certain possibilities or what items and things like that. That's something I'm just going to have to get used to over time on Wi-Fi. I'm not super familiar with it right now. All my opponents are. Um, but I do apologize because what you're about to see is in no way what you should be doing when you play a um, Wi-Fi drops league game. So that's why I wanted to sort of explain what I should do. Go with the Mew, get damage off, then Poison Jab into Rakion. Leaves the game 4-4 four, four open. I still have offensive win cons and things like Ice Punch Diggersby, which I do talk about, um, as well as even a defensive win con in uh, Bioplume if I'm able to get it back up to full health in front of Alandris. So, yeah. <laughs> um, enjoy me completely blundering my way through the top of Vinny. Um, do I take two, like, Surfs if he goes for it right now? He's not, um... He's not freaking Leftovers, so I almost think he might be Kevia. Um... 80. So I, I could take two, uh, but it's unlikely, especially if he goes for Moonblast here. Um, but he won't. Um, but I don't think I have a choice. I need this healthy for m numerous things. I mean, if he's Ice Beam, we just gotta play around it. Calm Minds again. Um, I hope he's not Ice Beam. We are going to Sludge Bomb. He's stored power. I don't like that. Okay. Calm Mind stored power. I, no one thought of this in my mocks. This is nuts. Um, okay. Immediate choice is to go into Trachyon and Poison Jump. If this gets chipped, I actually do like Ice Punch here. Um, in the end game scenario. To clean up. He's not Kevia. But he's really defensive. Don't be Draining Kiss. Don't kill. Oh, that's so bad. I don't understand how I prep for this. Like, I always feel so confident in my prep, and then I just... This shit happens. Um... Okay. The Misty Terrain is gone. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna go Weezing. Hope isn't lost. I think I can still sludge bomb. I do have the berry. I hope I live. And if I can get a poison here, that'd be huge. Maybe pain split was better, but it's hard to say. Um, poison? No. That was my way to get it in range, though. 
that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. I feel like shit. <laughs> Mostly because um, some of these things that that I've been seeing brought against me really are never brought against me in, in mocks, and it's it's a little infuriating. Um, what is my way to win here? Is it to go into Thanos and Dragon Dance or Soft Boil or whatever? Let me think about this. If I go into Big Kahuna, I got an Earthquake, and then that relies on me. He won't get much health back, though. Okay. I think my way to win this is with Mew. Is with Spideff Mew Reverse Sweeping. That's the win con here. So we're going to go for the strongest hitting attack, Earthquake. He won't get much health back. I think I could have played around this much better, and I'm panicking. Um, but it's too late. So here I Earthquake. How much does this do? Oh, that does so much. Okay, but that's decent. That's decent. That's decent. Okay. Um, I... Are you like big root? You might be big root. That might be it. Okay. So, immediate question number one can I dragon dance? Versus a draining kiss finny at plus two right now. I played around this being caveat too much. No, it does 20 to 23, so I can Dragon Dance once, I think. Ah, he is gold, he is gold, he is gold, he is gold. Live, 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 live. No! Mew, 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 why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me, Mew? I could have at least gotten one more kill. That was terrible. God, I hate everything. I just lost 5-0. That's the game. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I, I the first game was was taken. This he earned. He 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 outplayed me here. But I was looking at matchup and I said. I, I really think that I um, have a good team here to win. I might have played badly. I have to look back and reflect. But I, um, I don't understand. I'm winning. I'm mocking a lot for this, and I'm winning a lot when I mock. Against good, experienced players. Um... I don't know if it's Wi-Fi. I don't know if it's nerves, because I said I was very nervous in front of this, and if I'm playing poorly because of it. Um, but it's frustrating to look at the matchup and say, I feel good with my team here. I like my matchup a lot. And, you know, something I don't expect shows up. Last week, you know, Cryogonal was a thing. That was never a thing in Mox, and it was something I had to play around, and I managed to play around it, although I missed a Stone Edge. This week, no one brought Call Mind on Finny, and I'm not blaming people I mocked or anything like that, but it, it just... It's frustrating to be in this situation because I don't know if it's my team building or if it's my playing. Um, and I know I'm a, I'm a much better player than this, and I don't understand what's going on. Um, so I'm going to need to take a really deep, hard look at this game. And um, maybe my team as a whole, or how I'm building, and reflect on what I need to do. Because 
I don't I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I, I'm really confused. Um, I consider myself, and I don't want to sound narcissistic when I say this, I consider myself pretty good when it comes to showdown. You know, I am. I have a pretty, pretty strong record overall when it comes to showdown. Um, I think I was like 80 percent win percentage this gen um maybe it's just i'm facing new people i don't understand how they build because i've played two people i'm unfamiliar with so far i don't know what it is and i'm i'm i was angry last time i'm now just disappointed um i've never had a start in a league this poorly ever before in my five years six years of Pokemon Draft League, I've never started this badly. 0-2 minus 8. Ever. Showdown League, Wi-Fi League, nothing. Um, and from my perspective, my opponents are only getting harder. Um, I'm really lost. I'm really lost. I'm super lost. I tried to be a little bit more offensive this game. Maybe it's this rest of the time where I'm making plays too quickly. I'm not calcing too fast. Um, but like on that Melmetal turn with the Rotom, I, like do I who do I Volt Switch into if I Volt Switch instead of Overheat? I can't Pain Split. You know, um, I would have thought that he, he wasn't going to stay in and make that trade, but it seems like he was willing to. In front of this Finny, I had to figure out if there was a, a winning combination there. If I could have, you know, maybe... Maybe Earthquake with Diggersby, and um, I just didn't see stored power because I was so used to seeing just dual stab, dual stab uh, with Taunt or with, um, you know, Defog or um, a more supportive set. Um, I did not think this set made too much sense versus me especially because i have a milotic with haze um his only way to hit me would be with draining kiss milotic looked nasty this game i didn't bring it um i'm super disappointed and i'm almost in shock so we'll fight back next week i don't know what i'm gonna do I will see you all then.